there's some also scare things that go out there. And I'm going to talk about mental health, and I'm going to talk about uh, some of the, the vegan, uh, the meat eaters trying to literally scare people. And we literally got questions. Am I going to go crazy because I'm, I'm eating a vegan thing? No, not really. And, and one uh, uh, meeting person said, and uh, any vegan should, should not have kids. I mean, these are radical, you know, I'm going to say way out of line, unsus unsubstantiated statements. So, well, how unsubstantiated? Well, you got 10, 20 people, it's moderate research. Well, we have done research over the last few years. And I'm going to talk about Susan and Philip Madley because they're the ones in their master's program. We got the results. And I had preliminary research with 30 people. They have 130 people. That's, that's a substantial study. That's a statement. And what did it show? And I want people to hear this very clearly because this will eventually become a published paper. We just haven't had time to do it. Is that vegan and live food mothers, I want you to hear this, vegan and live food mothers, their babies at birth were in the top 88% of height and the top 63% of weight. I'll translate that in case we have any trouble translating it. That means they were above average in height and weight and, and actually way above average. And then we look at one month to 12 months, and again, they're uh, significantly above average in height and weight, you know, in, in, in the and then finally, from one year to four years, these are kids that are raised in the vegan or at least 80% live food. And again, we're in the upper 50 to 60% above the normals. Okay, what does that tell us? Very simple statement that at, at this point is the only research that's out there. Okay? It tells us that a vegan and live food diet is totally adequate for pregnancy, totally adequate for children. Our research only goes up to four years. So our kids are safe, they have adequate nutrition, and they have adequate growth. And now one of the problems is people get scared, oh, they're not getting enough vitamin K or D or this. Okay, we know that if you are, you know, uh, taller than 88%, you are getting enough vitamin D. So we don't want to be confused by you know, a, a detail that you know, is taken out of proportion. What we look at is the bigger picture. We have to look at a clinical picture to make any sense out of the discussion, rather than this study or that, because all the studies are going to vary a little bit. And, and that, that's normal. It took us 30 years to prove that smoking causes cancer because there's some study this and study some saying that. If you look at the China study, you can make a case that smoking actually improves your health. You can play with statistics, but our this research was very, very simple. What's your your height and weight at birth? Not that complicated a statement. 